Oh my god, look at this crap. There is nothing blocking the ball in front of me. And yet, for some reason, I can't aim towards the green. So, I have to... I had to basically try and hit this ball a little away from the spot once I get around to it, but... There's literally nothing blocking the ball. I don't get why this happened to me. And this basically screwed me out of winning this match. Like, oh, that's too bad. Say, adios, Monsieur Zone. Yeah, look. And because of that, it still got blocked by something, so I had to literally drop. Fifth shot and still not on the green. Yeah, I know. You don't have to rub it in. The... And because of that, Harley won the hole. She got 10,000. I, she got five skins. Even if I win the next hole, she wouldn't. I wouldn't win because I would have less money and skins than her. So, and the, yeah, the last hole. So I couldn't win regardless. So yeah, that's that was just stupid. But yeah. So yeah, here's the full match. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello everyone. Here we are again at the magnificent Diablo Country Club. When he's not out swinging his niblick on the back nine at St. Andrews, legendary soccer hooligan and world-class barroom brawler Scrummy O'Doul likes to kick back and pass out in his own vomit. Lugging Scrummy's clubs is his longtime friend and perpetual punching bag, Tommy Rotten. Just released from prison strictly on a technicality, Killer Miller takes pride in his long game and short temper. At 6'5 and 275 pounds of angry, ripply muscle, Killer puts on quite a show, bringing new meaning to the expression, slaying his audience. Toting Killer's clubs is his caddy, confidant, and $20 an hour shyster defense attorney. Born in a motorcycle repair shop, Harley grew up with a crowbar in one hand and a golf club in the other. Harley perfected her golf swing, beating up boyfriends and relatives. She is currently living in a van with her hog-riding, tough, yet tender boyfriend and caddy, Snake. Harley can frequently be seen on TV, usually being handcuffed and hauled away by local police for disorderly conduct. Well, it's time to tee it up. So let's go tee side, where they tee him up. Here we are at the tent. Yo, check it out. You know when you're at a movie and there's this killer behind the door with his butcher knife and then this stupid ass biatch comes in wearing just a bathrobe and you're all screaming at her to get out of the room, but she's so stupid, she just stays there and opens the door? Welcome to the tenth, brother. 395 yards of pure horror. Leading off this hole is Scrummy O'Doul. Sledgehammer! Oh my, it's not looking good out there, folks. Killer Miller is looking to launch one off the tee. really covered some ground. Now that's what I call a well hit shot. Second shot. Oh, who needs a hug? Second shot. Yeah! 
second shot. Slicerone, baby! Third shot. Third shot. You don't need positive thinking with that shot. Hey, dumb, your granny snickers! <laughs> Harley is going for what would be a very sweet birdie. What can you say about that part? We're here at the 11th. This truly is a vision of natural beauty, much like myself. It is a 532-yard par 5. Great skill is required to negotiate these tremendous mounds of rock that remind me so much of my own bulging biceps. Then it is onto the green, nestled in the bosom of the hillside, where great glory awaits you, if you don't screw up. Scrummy O'Doul is looking mighty happy to tee off on something. Way to go! Holy Toledo, Ohio! That ball was cruising! One. That ball really had some steam behind it. Second shot. Yeah, baby, nice contact. Oh, that can't be helpful for one's golf game. For the love of moly. Fourth shot. <laughs> Gotta like that. <laughs> well, folks, things are not looking rosy. Second shot. Second shot. Third shot. Third shot. Yeah! 
And this ball is safely on the green. Fifth shot. This game definitely is not for the weak of heart. If I'm not mistaken, this golfer is in the gutter. <laughs> and I am not mistaken. Fourth shot. Just like my girlfriend, this green is fast. Sixth shot. It's times like this that you wish you could cheat on the scorecard. Whoa, looks like there might be some trouble. Oh! Why do I suddenly be- Watch out! Someone's looking a little hot under the collar! Boom! Oh, what do you, how do you like that? Oh, right there! Boom! Oh, boom! And here's that! Oh. Oh. Wow, that is a heck of a beating! Too bad there's no such thing as caddy insurance! <laughs> I don't think there is! <laughs> oh, man! That's the way to hit it, nice and easy. Fifth shot and still not on the green. What a pretty shot, that's practically a tap in from there. Harley is playing for a possible, and I stress possible, birdie. Talk about your unlucky breaks. That putt nearly went in the hole. Scrummy O'Doul is trying for a shot at double bogey and absolutely no acclaim whatsoever. I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game. <laughs> Killer Miller is shooting to drop it in for a resounding bogey. Oh, cut anyone who laughs. To nail a par. Yeah, I'm one badass golfer. Oh, yeah. Here we are at the 12. Would you look at that freaking rock formation right in the middle of the bloody fairway? This is one wanker of a hole. We're talking 400 yards, par four. It's straight shooting to the green, which is shaped like a kidney bean. Hmm, kind of makes me hungry for some bangers and mash. like it saw a ghost. Whoa! Whoa! What time is it over there? Because that ball passed through a couple time zones. It's a different time because it went so far. Over there! Heads up, folks, because that is an ugly slice. Oh, that's too bad. Say, adios, miss ya, zone. My mom weeps. Third shot.
looking very promising. Scrummy O'Doul is ready to have at it. Wiping the dimples off the ball. Uh-oh, that ball has got some juice. Someone's game seems to be heading south. Second shot. Second shot. is hitting out of the rough. Well, folks, this golfer has officially hit rock bottom. Can't really get much lower than this until his wife leaves him. And then he becomes an alcoholic. Harley is whacking it out of the tall grass. Scrummy O'Doul is sitting in the rough. Ball screams, be gentle with me. Harley is ready for action. Killer Miller has this putt for a little birdie. Right, keep clapping, keep clapping. Mwah, mwah. We're here at the 13th. This is a 189 yard par three with cactus, or is it cacti? Anyway, I love cactus juice because it has a lot of vitamins and it's really good for you, but don't drink the needles because they hurt. <laughs> Harley is smacking it next. Yeah! Scrummy O'Doul is about to put club two ball on the tee. Second shot. That shot was no good at all. Second shot. Second shot. That ball had a little too much heat on it. Third shot. Third shot. Ooh, this just in. Someone's golf game's taking a turn for the better. Can you say par? Can you say, I'll kiss my freaking arse? Third shot. Oh, man, I hate this game. We're here at the 14th. Yo, if your game is straight, 
you'll be fitting to get busy on this 440-yard par 4, homie. But if you're all about hooking and shanking, these rocks will play with your ball like a horny prison inmate. They'll bang you all over the course, so just keep it real, keep it straight, and you'll par, bra. Word. Can't hit it much farther than that, folks. Harley is ready for a little tea party. Wow, that ball really went the distance. Second shot. Second shot. Wow, that ball really took off! Someone's game seems to be heading south. Second shot. Watch out, that ball isn't stopping anytime soon. Killer Miller is camping out in some real tall grass. Ouchie wouchie, right in the sand trap. Killer Miller is staring at a tricky shot from the sand, and no amount of sunblock is going to help here. Third shot. Third shot. Fifth shot, they don't get any tougher than this. Baby, now that's a good golf shot. I hear one laugh and a dead gallery walking. Harley is praying to putt for the victory! Oh, okay, it's just a par, but sometimes I get a little carried away. <laughs> Would you look at that putt, folks? Scrummy O'Doul is looking to save par. The British Open can smooch my willy. Here we are at the 15th. Yes, this hole is but a 447-yard par four. It is yours for the taking. Do not be shy. Be bold. You must make love to the fairway with gentle strokes and caress the green with a firm yet delicate touch. It is amor. Gonna slice. My oh my, we are firmly planted in the gutter. Harley is ready to tee off on the ball.
Boy, that is one long shot in anyone's book. Second shot. What a shot! Can't hit it much harder than that! Second shot. Buddy, right in the sand trap. Second shot. Killer Miller is stoked and ready to play. Third shot. That's gonna make you feel good about your golf game. Body, but you tip up, baby. All right, all right. Third shot. Here at the 16th. This hole's a 347 yard par four. It's straighter than my mum's knickers on a frosty winter morn. Now there's something you don't see every freaking day in a golf course, a bleeding fun park. And in case you were buggering off, there's a bloody cactus in that sand trap. Better get out your sand wedge and a pair of tweezers, mate. Promising. Parley is ready to spank it yeah! off the team. Man, that ball traveled so far it needs its own passport. a blur! Talk about hitting it deep! Second shot. Way to go! There's hope for some good golf yet! Second shot. Second shot. Third shot. Third shot. Harley is putting to make par. Yeah, 
I can walk and toss a ball at the same time. Killer Miller has a chance to prove that dumb luck beats out real skill with a par. Thank you, thank you! <laughs> Scrummy O'Doul is lining up this putt for a birdie. Yes, sir, Reed Bob, this golf is heading in the right direction. Kiss my royal arts! Oh. All right. Here we are at the 17. Okay, this hole is like 629 yards, and it's a par five, and it is so long. It goes on and on and on and on and on, and it like never stops, and on and on and on. It's like if I kept saying on and on and on and on and on and... You don't need positive thinking with that shot. Yeah. Man, that ball must have crossed several zip codes on its way. Killer Miller is ready to go. Serious legs on it. Second shot. Yeah! You gotta like that shot, unless you prefer wimpy anemic short shots. Second shot. any harder it would be coming back at us whoa I thought it was oh my it's not looking good out there folks second shot is lying in a little patch. That's gonna make you feel good about your golf game. Third shot. Man, that ball is juiced. Third shot. Let me tell you this. The grass is really greener on the green. Scrummy O'Doul has a chance for a crack at a birdie. Ooh, this just in. Someone's golf game's taking a turn for the better. 
I am God's freaking gift of gold! Killer Miller is going for the chance to drop a birdie. We're here at the 18th. I check it out. This is the 18th hole, and you know what that means. People are watching. That's right. It's close to the clubhouse and parking lot, so you don't want to shank one and look like a fool. So bring your A game. It's an easy 440 yard par four. Hit it, G. Yes, sir, Re Bob, this golf is heading in the right direction. Yeah. Wow, we may have set some distance records on that one, folks. And having grown up in Boston, they tell me that is very far. Second shot. Some good golf yet. Second shot. And it lands right in the sand. That's too bad. Unless you enjoy misfortune. In that case, great news. Second shot. That one's in the sand. It's not right, but I can't help but laugh! Harley is looking at a challenging shot from the sand. Killer Miller is up next. Harley is shooting to make an eagle. Just kidding, a par. <laughs> Stroke. <laughs> yeah, I'm one badass golfer. Oh yeah. Scrummy O'Duel is trying for a hopeful birdie shot. You don't need positive thinking with that shot. Fourth shot. To drop it in for par. That's freaking par! <laughs> Well, that brings a close to this round. Today's winner is Scrummy O'Duel. 
On behalf of myself and the crew, we hope to see you back here real soon. <laughs>